Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how to name oxy acids. And oxy acids are acids that come from a chart or a list or, or, of uh, compounds called polyatomic ions. And these ions contain oxygen. So we name the acids oxy acids when we, it, they come from a list such as this of compounds called or molecules called polyatomic ions. So let's name a few of them and see how it works. Let's pick on two different uh, um, polyatomic ions. Let's pick on sulfite and sulfate. If you notice the difference of these two polyatomic ions is just the amount of oxygen because one has three oxygens, which is SO3, and the other one has four oxygens, which is SO4 and the name changes. So one is it ending, which is the sulfide SO3, same charge of negative two. And the other one has an eight ending, like sulfate SO4 charge of negative two still. If we have to name the acid with sulfide, the ending becomes something ick in this case, something O's, sorry. Some in this case, sulfurous acid. And we have to name the acid with eight ending becomes, in this case, sulfuric acid. Let's make a list of this. So if I have to combine the SO3 with the H to give me sulfurous acid, this in this case, let's go with SO3. This will become H2 SO3 because it came from the sulfide which has a charge of two the two went to oxygen and this one will become h2 so4 okay so let's name those two acids and the first one will be h2 so3 this will become sulfurous acid And the other one, H2SO4. This would become sulfuric. Notice that I'm not using the prefix hydro like I did on the other acids because I am naming oxy acids. Anytime I name oxy acids, which are acids with oxygen in it, I don't use the prefix hydro. What if I had, what if I had to go with H2, SO2. Notice that I dropped down one oxygen content. Okay, I went from H2SO3 to H2SO2. I would name this hypo sulfurous acid because I have dropped one oxygen content. I went from SO3 to SO2. What if I had to go higher on the oxygen and I call this element or this um, acid called H2SO5? SO5, let's make that a 5, not a 4. Okay. SO5. So I call this per sulfuric acid. So each time that I go higher in oxygen content, in this case, from SO4 being sulfate to SO5 being per sulfate, the name of the acid also changes according to the oxygen content. So I went from sulfuric acid, that, that was from sulfate, to per sulfuric acid from per sulfate. And if I had to go one lower oxygen, I went from sulfurous on SO3 to hyposulfurose on SO2, which is which is which came from hyposulfite. And I do encourage you, like I said earlier, I do encourage you to watch the video on naming polyatomic ions because that would give you a guide on how to name these ions without much problems. Let's do at least one more. Let's pick on. Let's erase this and let's pick on chromate. 
if you notice chromate only has CrO4 and it doesn't have a chromite. What if I had to name a chromite? Let's name it over here. Chromite would be one less oxygen. If if chromate is if chromate is CrO4, charge of negative two, then chromite would be CrO3, charge of negative two still. So naming these acids, let's go with chromate, and we will name this chromic acid. And if I had to name the chromite acid, this would be chromose acid. And the same rule applies if I have to go in naming, let's say, of course, this is the acid will be H2CrO4, and the acid of this one will be H2CrO3. What if I had to go lower in the in the oxygens? That would be H2CrO2, and we would name that hypochromous acid. Let's change colors just so we could differentiate. Hypo, chromos, chromos, let's spell that correctly over here. Hypo, chromos, acid, which of course it is H2CrO2. And if I had to go higher in the oxygen and with CrO5, that would be of course H2CrO5. Five, that'll be per chromic acids. Therefore, this is the way in which we name oxy acids. Acids with oxygen, acids that come from this. Of course, these are the most commonly used polyatomic ions. There are more, okay? But these are the most commonly used. Whenever we use a polyatomic ion to name acid, of course, we don't use the, the prefix hydro like we did on the other ones, like on, on the binary acids. And be careful with the amount of oxygens, whether it is the eight ending, the eight ending, the hypo eight ending, or the per ending, which is higher in the oxygens. They are not all on this chart. You have the basic ones. But from this basic ones, you could make the other ones. You could increase oxygen or decrease oxygen. These are naming oxy acids. I hope this helps you out.